Welcome to our school day. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Our focus in phonics this week and last week actually has been long vowel sounds. This week specifically are long vowels O and U. Let's start with our lesson and I have a very short video to just help you review and um, also to help you uh, remember how adding an E to a word changes the whole word. Oh, do you know the magic E, the magic E, the magic E? Do you know the magic E? E can change the sound. Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit. Uh, I put that in there because um, during one of our assignments, I wanted you to read me some uh, portion of our decodable readers, and I noticed that you still, um, some of you were still struggle, struggling with pronouncing the words when there was um, an E at the end of the words, okay? So <clears throat> just remember that when you have uh, e, a vowel E at the end, it changes the vowel before it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna allow you to say some of these words, if not all of them, just to kind of remind you what words with the long O sound like. Okay, if you practice these words, very good. Um, I want you to, if you'd like to, send me a video of you reading these words and pronouncing the O sound for the long O, then I'd be more than happy to see your videos, okay? Good job. I put this in here to remind you that the long U also changes, just like the long O. So this says, when a word has two vowels, usually the first one says its name and the second one is silent as in these words right here, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna go over this first word. So without the E, it is the word cub, because the U here is not short. It is, a, I'm sorry, it is not long. It is a short sound. When we add the E, this E turns the U into a long sound. So instead of saying, uh, uh, like umbrella, you say the name of the letter. So it's cube so 
you, you say you, cube, okay? <clears throat> so you try this one and this one and this one on your own without the sneaky E. Okay, if you said tub, you're correct. If you said mall, you're correct. If you said ton, you're correct. Okay, so now I want you to practice these with the second vowel E in there. And then, of course, it's going to change the sound of this U, correct? That's what we've been learning, that when this consonant vowel, consonant vowel E, it changes the sound to a long U. So I want you to practice these here on your own. And then when you're ready to move on, we will move along to reading. Okay, for so, so for today's reading class, I would like you to pause this video and click on the video link below. <clears throat> now, the reason is, is because I still want you to be able to practice your reading because that's very, very important. And um, I feel that you are very good at sequence of events based on what I've seen. And I think it's okay to take one day from that to do our guided reading, um, like if we were doing it in small group, okay? So I did create a playlist and it's book one, two, and three, and it's a book from the B box uh, and two from the C box. So you're gonna keep practicing those books until you can read them without a problem, okay? So pause this video, click on the link, and I also sent the link out for the playlist reading books. So at this time, do that, and when you return, then we are gonna head on to math. Okay, welcome to math. We are continuing to focus on money. So because we're combining both math and social studies because both of them have to do with money, um, we're gonna, our assignments for today um, are going to count for both subjects, okay? Before we get started with the actual lesson, we're gonna review the vocabulary word. The first one is penny. A penny equals one cent. So I'm just gonna write one cent right here. Nickel is our second word, and a, a nickel equals five cents. The third word is dime. A dime equals 10 cents. And quarter, a quarter equals 25 cents. And the last vocabulary word for our math and social studies lesson is earn. It's very important to know this word because you do earn money as you work or you sell stuff or maybe for your chores. So these are the vocabulary words for these two subjects and this unit. Before we get on to uh, nickels, yes, today we're doing nickels. Before we go on to nickels, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you this cute video that I found. And you're gonna think that it has nothing to do with nickels, but we will discuss it afterwards. <laughs> Let's keep counting to 100. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 
All right. So the reason I wanted to share that video with you is because normally in class, I like to teach skip counting by five alongside with some of the coins. OK, so um, you need to know how to count by fives in order to count nickels, because every one nickel there's five pennies in every single one of these nickels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you watch me count by fives and you are gonna have a chance to try it on your own. So I'm gonna put a five here because all of this is gonna remind me that I need to count by fives. And I'm very proud of those of you that can tell me, that could tell me the president here, and that was um, Thomas Jefferson. And uh, I want to give some shout outs to, who was it? Diego, Jose, Adli, um, who else? Matiel, I think it was, you were able to give me the president, um, you said FDR was the president that is on the dime. So good job for that, guys. So let's count our nickels. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So right here we have 30 cents. But we write cents with a decimal in front of the amount. So right here, this tells us that this is a cent sign. Like you have your dollar sign. Okay, this tells us that we have a dollar. This tells us we have cents, that there are coins. Okay, so let's count these nickels. Five, 10, here's a different way to do it, 15, 20. So how many cents do we have here? If you said 20, you are correct. Okay. Now, let's count these. This is a lot more. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 cents. So decimal, 45 cents. And there you go. That is, there are three, whoops, sorry about that. There are three ways to mark your coins on your worksheet when you're counting. Now it's important for you to do that at the beginning because you may miss a coin by accident and then you, your answer will be wrong. All right, so now it's your turn. Go ahead and try your counting. You can do it um, on a sheet of paper, dry erase, or you could just have this discussion with a parent, with a friend, um, whoever you'd like just to practice, okay? If this is just practice, um, you're not gonna be grading, getting a grade for this one. This is just practice for you to do it. I showed you the ways I did it. You can do it on your own, okay? So you can go ahead and do that now. Once you're done with the practice, 
then you the whole worksheet will be available on Seesaw and you can submit all your stuff through Seesaw okay and that's it boys and girls since we're combining social studies and math that's our lesson for today it was a little bit shorter but um, you're, you've been working hard all week long and I really appreciate that and your parents as well I'm sure they've been working very hard with you so uh, it's more important now that you for today that you focus a lot on your guided reading okay because when you move on to the next grade that's going to be very very important okay if you like to send me videos of you reading they make me so happy you can do that also